L minus 12 minutes. MEQ, initiate data logger just prior to L minus 7 pole. Roger. ALC, start T4 master script. Roger. Master script running. Roger. Eleven minutes, twenty seconds before launch. All systems are go and weather remains green. Less than 11 minutes before launch. And a gorgeous, a gorgeous view of the sun rising over the Florida coast. Once again, panning the camera from the top of the historic vehicle assembly building, looking across the water to Space Launch Complex 37 at the adjacent Cape oh, Canaveral Air Force minutes. Station. RC, verified solar radiation limits acceptable for launch. Verified. Spectacular view. All communications switch to channel one. All personnel and visitors remain in present position until launch. Maintain operational silence in the LCC. Terminal count briefing. If a condition exceeds launch constraint any time after the terminal count status check, the observer shout outs hold, hold, hold on channel one, identify their station, and briefly state the reason for the hold. 9.30. Orion Launch Conductor, LC. Launch vehicle is ready for Orion transfer to internal power. This is OLC proceeding with transfer. Orion is going to internal power. L minus nine minutes. LC, this is FMA. Go FMA. Primary wind load relief file has been loaded into the RIFCA and verified. Internal checksum alpha nine five two. Roger. Flight computers are being updated with the latest wind information. Eight minutes, 35 seconds before launch. Standing by for launch, conductor Scott Barney to complete his final poll for the countdown. L minus eight minutes. Winds re remain below limits. Weather conditions are all green. No technical issues are being worked. LC, this is OLC. Orion transfer to internal power is complete. Roger. The Orion spacecraft now operating on its own batteries. A beautiful morning for a launch in Florida. Coming up on seven minutes before launch. L minus seven minutes. Status check. Proceed with terminal count. MEQ. Go. MEA. 
Give me a go. HYE. Go. Locks one. Go. Locks two. Go. BP. Go. PNE. Go. BP. Go. ATC one. Go. PEA. Go. Fuel one. Go. Fuel two. Go. TM one. Go. ATC three. Go. TM two. Go. FMA. Go. BE. Go. EEA. Go. GE. Go. SYS. Go. DSE. Go. Timer. Go. ECS. Go. QE. Go. USO. Go. OSM. Go. VSC. VSC is go. ALC. Go. AC. AC is go. RC. Clear to proceed. Launch director. This is the launch director, and you have permission to launch. Proceeding with the count. MEQ established. Swing on lock pins. Pull. Active. L minus six minutes. SYS established. Record on change list. Activated. Activated. We have a final clear to launch. Managers across the country, more than 200 in count from NASA, Lockheed Martin, and United Launch Alliance all working together for today's historic launch of the Orion spacecraft on a Delta IV heavy rocket. Five minutes, 30 seconds before liftoff. Just a little more than a minute away from picking up the countdown. L minus five minutes. MEQ reports swing arm system ready. Ready. All steps are complete prior to terminal count. Launch minus four minutes, 45 seconds. Thirty seconds away from picking up the countdown. At T minus four minutes and counting, we'll enter the terminal count and begin securing the second stage liquid oxygen tank. Picking up the count in five, four, three, two, one. T minus four minutes and counting. Upper stage lock securing started. Vehicle transferring internal. Three minutes, 52 seconds. Delta four on internal power. The common booster core liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen tank securing will be started at T minus three minutes, 32 seconds, including closing the propellant fill and drain valves. T minus three minutes, 32 seconds. CBC propellant tank securing started. Vehicle transfer internal complete. A live shot from Jetty Park. Visitors and locals, campers, fishermen, here at flight level. space aficionados. Three minutes, three minutes, 14 seconds. All gathered to watch today's launch. CBC pre-press started. T minus 307. Vehicle ordnance system will be armed and the common booster core liquid oxygen and hydrogen T prop tanks are Vehicle being verified. Arming. T minus two minutes, 50 seconds. LH2, CPC secured. The liquid hydrogen common booster core tank Vehicle is secured. Armed. Ordnance is armed. T minus two minutes, 31 seconds and counting. At two minutes prior to liftoff, the team will verify that the hydraulic system is pressurized and confirm the common booster core Delta Hydrogen at second stage and DCSS and flight termination system battery voltages. Coming up on two minutes. T minus two minutes. TPA script running. Hydraulic press at 4,000. 
Everything is go. At T-minus 1 minute 20 seconds, the team will begin securing the second stage liquid hydrogen tank. T-minus 1 minute 40 seconds. T-minus 1 minute 30 seconds. OLC, verify Orion nav transition is complete. LC, this is OLC, Orion nav transition is complete. 120. Second stage LH2 securing started. At T minus 60 seconds, the Eastern Range readiness will be verified. CPC LH2 at flight pressure and flight level. Working no issues. T minus one minute. Engine start box go. Rock report range status. Range green. 50 seconds. 45. Everything is go. GE main power off. Main power off. 40. Upper stage LH2 secure at flight level. 35. 30. Status check. Go Delta. Go Orion. Green board. 25. Flight lock in. T minus 20 seconds. 15. Rofi ignition. 10. The igniters have been lit. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff at dawn. The dawn of Orion and a new era of American space exploration. Now 1,341 feet per second. One minute, 50 seconds in. Still looking good. Coming up on two minutes. Two minutes into the flight. Good engine control on the first stage. Important starboard boosters still at good uh, chamber pressures in the full power mode and the good core chamber pressure in the partial thrust mode at 2 minutes 22 seconds in. Two minutes 35 seconds in, still looking good. Coming up on the 2 minute 43 second mark. Mark, 2 minutes 43 seconds. The Delta IV of Heavy Valkyrie now just weighs one half as much as it did at launch, burning propellant at the rate of 4,744 pounds per second. Three minutes, one second into the flight. Still looking good. 
as a MUP5. Three minutes, 16 seconds in. Good engine control. Less than one half minute remains on three booster flight. Three minutes, 30 seconds in. We're standing by for the uh, command to go to the partial thrust mode in the port and starboard booster. That command should occur about 10 seconds from now. And we've had partial thrust command. Port and starboard should be toggling down to the partial thrust mode. Standing by for main engine cutoff. We have cutoff in the port and starboard and separation. A good separation of the port and starboard boosters. Core booster now powering up to the full power mode. Four minutes, 10 seconds into the flight. Good chamber pressure in the port. Uh, correction, good uh, chamber pressure in the core booster. At four minutes, 18 seconds in. Four minutes, 25 seconds in, still looking good. Good engine control in the core. About one minute remaining on first stage flight. Four minutes, 46 seconds in, still looking good. Chamber pressure holding very well in a core booster as we're approaching the five minute mark. Five minutes into the flight, standing by to go to the partial thrust command, that partial thrust command about 15 seconds from now. Good engine control. Five minutes, 20 seconds in. And we have partial thrust command in the core. Core chamber pressure beginning to go down. As expected, standing by for Miko. We have Miko. The main engine has cut off. Standing by for stage separation. We have stage separation. Heads is deploying. The nozzle has been extending. Standing by for igniter spark. And we have igniter spark and we have ignition. Ignition on the second stage. Second stage chamber pressures beginning to rise. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, we're taking over commentary at this point as we come up on the first two critical Orion program milestones, the service module fairing panel jettison and the launch abort system jettison, standing by for those first two critical events. The uh, service panel uh, jettison uh, has occurred. The three 13 by 14 foot panels have separated. And we have launch abort system jettison. The 361 pound solid propellant motor has pulled the launch abort system free from the uh, upper stage and up from Orion. Everything going extremely well. The first two critical uh, milestones have been accomplished and we are now processing uh, telemetry from the Orion spacecraft through the tracking and data relay satellite system. Coming up on the seven minute mark into the mission, Orion and the Delta IV upper stage, now 127 miles in altitude, some 700 miles downrange from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Reports here in Mission Control indicate that Orion's uh, guidance uh, systems are up and running in good shape. This view once again of the uh, service module fairing panel jettison that occurred uh, just about a minute and a half ago. We are now coming up on the eight minute mark into the flight. Orion and the Delta IV upper stage, 142 statute miles in altitude almost 900 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. 
GPS systems on Orion uh, have uh, come into full agreement uh, with navigation systems on the spacecraft. Orion is functioning perfectly at this point. Orion heading uh, almost due east from the Kennedy Space Center in an orbit inclined uh, just about 28.4 degrees to either side of the equator. Eight and a half minutes into the flight, the upper stage is currently traveling and carrying Orion to its preliminary orbit. Now traveling at a velocity of almost 14,000 miles an hour, its altitude flattening out. The uh, upper stage ignition uh, will continue for about uh, 11 minutes and 30 seconds from the time it began with uh, SECO-1 or a second stage cutoff number one just about eight and a half minutes from now. And this is our first view from uh, cameras on uh, the Orion spacecraft streaming video that, are, that is coming down, being processed through the tracking and data relay satellite system showing a view of the Earth as Orion is being carried to its preliminary orbit, all of its systems operating in excellent condition on this uh, first test flight of America's newest spacecraft. We are also processing uh, telemetry through the Antigua tracking station in the Lesser Antilles, southeast of Puerto Rico. Coming up on the 10 minute mark into the flight, Orion is traveling uh, almost 15,000 miles an hour, nearing its orbital insertion velocity. Ten and a half minutes into the flight, everything ex going extremely well. This view from uh, one of the cameras in the Orion spacecraft looking at the limb of the Earth as it heads toward its preliminary orbit, sailing over the uh, South Atlantic right now. Currently uh, 155 statute miles above the Earth. The upper stage of the uh, Delta IV rocket, uh, once it cuts off uh, on this first of two such burns for the upper stage in about uh, six minutes and 45 seconds, will uh, have left uh, uh, Orion in an orbit uh, for its first lap of the Earth of about 560 by 120 statute miles. So far, all of the guidance and navigation systems on Orion operating perfectly as it rides at the top of the uh, upper stage of the Delta IV rocket uh, that uh, began its maiden journey at 6.05 a.m. Central Time, 7.05 a.m. Eastern Time, just uh, right at the peak of sunrise over the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Coming up on the 12-minute mark into the flight, Orion now passing 15,000 miles an hour, almost 1,800 miles downrange from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. The next major event, five and a half minutes from now, that will be SECO-1, or second stage cutoff number one. That will be uh, the cutoff of the uh, Upper stage on the uh, Delta IV rocket, the engine uh, that has uh, propelled uh, Orion at this point uh, uphill towards its preliminary orbit. A second burn of that upper stage uh, will be coming at the 1 hour 55 minute mark into the mission. That will be a 4 minute 40 second burn that will take Orion out of uh, low Earth orbit towards its peak altitude of some 3,630 statute miles above the Earth. About uh, 15 minutes uh, after SECO-1, or the uh, shutdown of the upper stage engine on this first of 
two burns that the engine will perform, uh, Orion will be commanded into a barbecue roll, uh, basically uh, like a piece of uh, meat on a barbecue spit. It will uh, roll uh, on a very, very slow basis to provide uh, very even thermal conditioning over the spacecraft uh, for the duration of its flight toward deep space. Thirteen and a half minutes into the flight. Orion in the upper stage of the Delta IV now traveling 16,000 miles an hour. More than 2,100 miles downrange from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Very quiet here in the flight control room. All the flight control.